Hello everyone, my name is John Melisondra and today I'm gonna teach you on how to paint this wonderful landscape painting. So today everyone I'm going to paint a tree house. So it will just be very simple with a tree on the top, uh, with a house on the top of the tree. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed it and hit the bell button if you want to receive some future notification of my new videos and tutorials. Okay. Um, you can see all the materials needed to the screen. You can see the five limited colors, the brushes that we're gonna need, and all the things that we're gonna need to paint this painting. Okay, so I'm going to start now. And first, I will just do the background. I'll just do right away, everyone. And I will put the tree here on the other side, on this side with the house, and then I will do the background. It will be, the background will be a little afternoon. Okay, so let's start. If you're painting with me, just follow and always have fun. I have a blue with a little red, yes, and then white. There. I'll put more blue, yes. I want the sky to be uh, really blue. And then I'm gonna put a little more white. So before I started to paint everyone, I added a white, uh, no, I mean, I spray it with water, uh, the background, uh, the, the canvas, so that uh, it will be easy for me to, to spray the paints, so like this one. I'm gonna put some red. And then white and the red. There. So I need to spread the very nice colors there. I need to blend good. But that's why uh, it's very smooth now everyone because uh, I put a good amount of uh, water before I start. I spray it with water first. Some white and there. Red and white. very smooth and then I will try to put a little yellow with red a little more orange on the bottom part with some white there I like that I'll try to put some purple in the background. Uh, not purple, but uh, purple mountain. 
I'm going to put some white. There's a little light purple. And then you can create those mountains there. Try to put this full umber here. A little bluish and red. So I will just fill everything here so that uh, it will not be a problem for me later on. This will be a grassland everyone but I filled with the uh, brownish color first later we can put greens there I just want to cover it I will be using a smaller brush this one number two nylon flat brush oh, I mean uh, number eight nylon flat brush everyone I'm sorry it's not number two, it's number eight. I will retouch these mountains here. There. I'll put some red to make it much way purple. there so we have now some mountains there okay so good so I'll blend it a little and then I will try to put a little white so I will put the highlights coming from the left side not make it so busy for everyone there okay yeah that's good Maybe I will not put any clouds here everyone because I will just cover it later on but I'm not sure because I'm gonna put the tree here it will be a big tree and I'll just cover more here on this part so making uh, adding clouds will not be so much help because I'll just cover it maybe just a little brownish clouds here one or purple I can I can also put yeah but it's still so wet so I have here purple and then I will put some white and 
Yeah, I'll just put a few clouds everyone because uh, I'll just cover the background so it's not so important but uh, if you want you can also put uh, clouds there it's also fine There, so maybe just it will be just enough because this is an afternoon uh, landscape. Okay, so I will just let it dry first. Uh, after five minutes, we can add the tree here, a big tree. I will do like that, and I will put the tree house there. Okay, everyone. So I think the paint is already dry now, and I'm going to start uh, adding some details. So I will put now first the big tree here. Yeah, it will be. Yeah, I will make it big here, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to use a bigger brush or a medium sized brush. I'm going to use now the number 8 nylon flat brush. I need to clean it first. So I have here the Rue Umber the blue and the red so I will make a dark color first for the trunk just purple with the rue umber everyone it will become a little lighter brown or a dark brown or something of course a dark brown okay so I'm gonna put the tree here Okay, sorry about that. Uh, I'm not using any black, uh, everyone, because um, it's not good if you are a beginner. It might, you might mix it, uh, it will look like mud. So I am using the dark purple to make it uh, look like black. Okay. That's here. And now I will put, uh, I will try to sketch first the house. So um, I am planning to put it here, something like this. So maybe here. Yeah, it will be like that.
so I need to have a branch here that supports this house there something like that everyone okay I'll make it dark here so I will put a tree here that supports this uh, a branch not a tree a branch everyone there to have a good support on the on the house okay there and then I will try to put now the the leaves everyone so I'll just use again the purple blue and the red I'll try to make the background darker a little romber Okay. okay everyone so it's time now to start or to use the bristle flat brush number 10 so again I'm gonna mix for darker uh, brown color or darker purple So again, you can use the tapping technique. There. Okay, and it's also here. Just tapping technique, everyone, and do it uh, slowly. mix again much more solid I'll put a lot more colors and you can put a little water everyone so that 
Да. The paints will be much more solid. And also here. Okay. And also here. Looks good. more here one because this tree is, uh, looks uh, really big but let's assume that uh, some parts of the branches was cut off Okay, looks good. There. Okay, now I'll try to put some browns there. So I'll put the light on the left side. So I'll have this whole umber. Yeah, maybe I'll put some raw umber first. There. And then I'll make the roof much more uh, reddish. Okay, I'll try to make this a little dark. Because I, I will just let it dry, everyone. It's very important. Okay. And here I'll try to make it dark here. There, okay. Yeah. And this one, everyone, I need to put some more branches there. 
So I'll be using a zero liner brush now. It's a smaller uh, brush so that we can create better uh, details. So again, I will use a darker purple with a uh, raw umber. Try to one, put a one branch here. Just a small branch. And also here, I need to put one more branches, or I want to put bigger branches. Can also add more branches everyone without the leaves. To assume that they are these are dried branches. And also here. There, okay. So yeah, looks good. Yeah. Looks fine, everyone. I don't know if it's really good or not. Maybe my house on the, maybe just on the really left side. Okay, so here I will try to put some uh, um, uh, grasses or bushes or whatever here so I need to clean my brush and then I have blue and the yellow with a little red so just uh, tapping technique using the bristle flat brush to create these beautiful glasses there but uh, much more yellow just do like that everyone uh, do like this on your brush a little uh, leaning more at the bottom
yeah I can make this a little more darker but I want to have a light color here just yellow to create some highlights that's just yellow brown but I will try to create some orange also red and the yellow there beautiful uh, grasses just do the topping technique there you can also put some really red colors Also do like that everyone to create the uh, uh, using the tapping technique you can put some more yellow to create some more textures here later on everyone I will put more so I will do first I think I will retouch first on the part of the house so the light source will be from the left side it's still still wet so I have here I'll try to use this uh, a little orange color and the rue umber with some yellow put the door here okay and the window on the side there and then I have here the red and the yellow to make some orange So we can use the particles or downward strokes. see the details of the of the house of the free house so it looks old everyone there and then I have here red 
with a little yellow so on the top of this I will try to create some highlights uh, the problem was still wet so uh, the, the color is still wet so I'm gonna put some orange So it's just on the top here, everyone. You can make it a little lighter. There. And then just using the row umber, everyone. Or as I try to put here on the other side. Some details, but it will be dark here. So, and also I will put um, leaves here, so it will cover some parts there. Okay. And in this, uh, I will uh, try to make the window or the door here uh, greenish. But first, I will make the window dark. Okay. And then the door will be much like bluish. A little green, a little yellow and in white there okay there uh, later we can retouch that because it's still so wet okay so I will I will slowly put some uh, greenish leaves everyone so I will be using this again this brush with this number uh, two nylon flat, uh, flat brush to bristle flat brush so I have blue yellow I think more blue I'll cover some parts of the here, everyone. So again, the tapping technique. Using this uh, this uh, brush, small brush. So we're gonna do it one by one. The problem was uh, the background is still wet, so yeah, it's a little hard to create those, to get those uh, brighter greens, because uh, sometimes it, it will mix on the background. So here.
just slowly everyone and have more patience okay this is a big old tree everyone and you can see it because of the because it has a very big uh, trunk with uh, smaller leaves so we can see that this is a big tree Okay, yeah, it's wonderful. I'll put more. So you need to put the leaves in by group, everyone, like this here, 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 here. Do not put, do not cover it, uh, do not cover everything there. And then here. And also here. there so we have to do it one by one it's a little time consuming everyone but it's really worth it when you see the final result Okay, that looks good. I'll see here. There. So, yeah, it's fine, everyone. I can't think it's it looks wonderful it looks uh, beautiful here I can see that uh, it looks detailed 
Now I will try to put a more yellowish with a little orange color. Gonna put some red. There. Try to put it on the top part. Because some of the lips everyone, especially when they are still young, it's not only look like a little reddish or yellowish color. try to put now some lighter yellow for the highlights uh, maybe some yellow green if I want I'll start it here Just use the topping technique. This will take a lot of time everyone doing one by one slowly takes a lot of time but the time but I think it will be worth it on your time So the lights is coming from the left side, so we all put all the highlights on the left side. So it will not be so hard everyone, always enjoy the moment always have fun because anyway uh, painting is not for the for to make you stress but to, to fulfill your dreams or to 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 have fun so always have fun everyone do not stress if you if you think that you cannot do it yes it's, it's okay if you are first timer then it's very very normal to to make it hard or you will uh, you will experience it hard but it's normal everyone do not uh, be harsh to yourself
because it will be normal if you cannot do it good but don't give up there okay I will put more white to create reflections on this on this uh, Sorry about another dog's there. Yeah, I'll just put some white there. like a reflection on the that uh, the leaves will look like uh, shiny leaves everyone there okay yeah looking good the leaves look good and bad very simple Okay, I will also put on the other side of one here, but I will make it more bluish because the reflection will be much more like bluish. There, bluish green or something like that. So be careful, uh, the paints might be, uh, the background might be wet. Just on the top of the greens, everyone. There. Okay. Okay, yeah, I think that that's better. It looks better now. It's not so dark on that part. So for me, it's better. Okay, so I will put some highlights here. Lighter browns, something. So I have here the the raw umber, the yellow, and the red. Or yellow. Backside, everyone. I will try to create some uh, reddish purple. 
So I have here a little white there. This will be the, the diffuse reflection or bouncing light. The colors will not always be dark, especially in the trunk. Let's try to put a trunk here. The one here. So here everyone. I'll make the track later on uh, later. Also put some lights here, yeah. It will not be so hard. So I have some more reddish color. I will put more here. There, I'll make it lighter. With some yellow, yeah. So you can see now the reflections there or the the light striking to that part of the tree yeah looks good but i will enhance it that part especially in that part some row umber a 
I can also spread the colors of the raw umber everyone or the reddish brown there okay I think it's much clear now and it looks good and I will I'll put also some lights okay so I will proceed now on the top part there so it's so wonderful everyone I like the mood of this painting so I will also put some uh, little highlights on the tree trunk I mean on the on the, on the branches and later uh, maybe I'll try to put um, like a ladder here so that they can walk people can walk there going to the to the to the tree house okay I have here light colors light brown uh, I'm using now smallest flat brush everyone as small as uh, round I'm using now the liner brush there So here I'll, I'll make it a little lighter by adding the highlights. I'll put something here everyone that uh, certainly block uh, the, the house something like that okay like a like a, a tree that has been cut or a, uh, a branches that has been cut okay there we go i like this tree everyone it looks very, very old tree it looks like uh, and it has just a lesser smaller uh, uh, leaves but i want to make the scene uh, this uh, i want the the house to be to put much more highlights so i have here the brown umber and white a little yellowish so good thing everyone is uh, already dry it's okay if uh, you make mistakes that's fine Let's start uh, making highlights, adding highlights on the. So I am mixing here the lighter brown, 
blue amber, red and the yellow and the white. Then I'm going to put some white. There. Now we could buy this one. To make it look uh, like a window. And here the door. There. And then I will mix for a lighter blue color. I'll put some uh, darker shades. Uh, just a purple one or blue and red. Dark purple. Turn up and also here dark. There. Okay. And then here also. And then I want to put some lights also on the just for amber and white. Here. There. Okay. Yeah. So it looks good. It looks fine. It looks like a house there, everyone. Yeah, maybe I will put more lights there. I want to. I want to pop this house, everyone. I want to make this house the center of, of everyone's eyes. So I will put more lights. Maybe some more white. put a lighter color here or adding white here
There. Okay. Yeah. And maybe I'm adding some more red on the on the on the roof. And then here well, I'm planning to put a ladder here. Yeah. Like that. So that, so that they can go up to this house. I don't know, maybe it's good. Sorry about that. I'm planning to maybe to put something here. Uh, some terrace on the top and then there will be something here and then they can have a ladder here yeah that will be good so first I'm going to create a darker color blue and the red Just put a line here. Sorry. Put some green links. And then I will put it also here. And then Okay. Yeah, let's speak. And then I will put it here down. So I'm gonna put the stairs going to the top. There, okay. And now let's put the highlights. I'm actually excited with the highlights. <laughs> so I have here this color, this lighter uh, yellowish with the white. I want it to be lighter. Still wet, sorry. So I was okay everyone if it's not so perfectly good. Good lines.
there. So make that also here everyone. There for the stairs. Also light color. This will be just the raw umber, so I'll use, use this raw umber. can see now everywhere it goes the the stairs yeah it looks good it looks uh, pretty realistic and here everyone, I will put uh, one something like a, a children's wheel or the one that the children play okay I think that's that's straight There's a wheel here. part would be the highlights there okay well okay so the last part everyone will be uh, retouching so I will just add some lighter colors here on the grasses and then I will be finished So I'll be using much more yellow and red. So here, a golden brown uh, grasses. Try to put more yellow. So 
So again, everyone, just tapping technique. everyone so i think and then i like the i like the the yellowish uh the yellowish ground everyone the yellowish uh leaves there so it looks pretty pretty good so yeah i think i am done and that's all i hope you are happy and you can learn something out of this you can create your own tree house okay and you can also copy this one you can you can make this as your uh, practice or something like that uh, your exercise painting okay so i want to say thank you for watching this video today i hope uh, you are really learning and and uh, my advice is just to keep on practicing and keep on especially on mixing the colors you need to practice and also creating those textures so that you can create beautiful uh, landscape like this Okay everyone, so I want to say thank you for watching this video today and I hope you get something out of this. And my only advice is to keep on practicing, keep on painting. The more you do it, the more you know how to use your brush, the more you will know how to mix the colors. That's why I'm using limited colors in palette because I want you to learn to know how to mix and get the desired colors you want. So please hit like, add some comments, subscribe for videos in the future. Okay, once again, thank you. Have a nice day and God bless you all. All the glory and honor and praises always belongs to the Lord.